first step for every editor is to create an event and import video clips. Remember, events are saved to the hard drive you specify. To create a new event, go to the event library and right click on the hard drive where you want it to be saved. Choose New Event and type a name for it. Brand new events provide a handy button for importing, but anytime you want to add media to an existing event, just right click it and select Import Media. The media import window is used for any type of media, whether from an SDHC card recorded on an HMC40, or a camera plugged directly into the computer, or other types of files uh, you may already have saved to your hard drive. Click on the card or device in the left column to see the video clips it contains. Highlight one or more clips in the list. You can select multiple clips by clicking one, then holding shift and clicking another. Click the blue import button to go to the next step. It's important to get these settings right, but it's not complex. It'll already be set to add the media to the event that you just created. The option you have to consider here is whether to create optimized media. The answer in almost every case is yes, so check the box. This is always the best practice for smooth, unglitchy performance and optimal visual quality. There are other options to learn about here, but for this example, I'm just going to click import to get the process started. This is a great time to take a look at the background tasks window. Click the progress wheel located just to the left of the time counter to open it. So that's the process for importing video clips from a camera or an SDHC card. But let's back up a little bit to talk about importing media like graphics or music. It all happens in the same media import window. Browse your hard drive to find the files you're looking for. The question is, should you choose copy to events or not? By doing so, you will essentially be creating a duplicate of that file on your drive. This may seem like a redundancy, but it's actually the smartest way to keep your events organized. You won't have to manually make copies of files or otherwise uh, keep track of them. If you happen to move or delete the original file, it won't affect your events or your projects at all. It also makes it very easy to move the entire event to another drive without hunting down missing files. And in any case, you'll eventually delete the entire event and with it the duplicate. So for all these reasons, we recommend leaving copy to events checked for all imports. A project is just what it sounds like. It's the program you're creating and all the editing work involved in making that program. Each project you create in the project library is saved to the hard drive you specify, just like events, so always make sure you create projects on your own hard drive. Have we made the concept of your own hard drive clear enough? To create a new project, right-click on the name of your drive and select New Project. You'll see a simple settings window, so go ahead and give your project a name. We're going to keep it simple for this example, so click OK to complete this step and open your new project. <laughs>